okay as a part of the theory class we have discussed various uh, hydraulic and pneumatic components you know so based on that we here we have an uh, uh, experimental setup so this setup is called a lumat pneumatic linear actuation system so which is used to uh, make inflow motion based on this circuit so here we have uh, framed a circuit uh, and based on the type of actuation it will make uh, inflow motion okay so here the basic uh, fluid we are using as uh, can you imagine what fluid see the name pneumatic so it is the uh, compressible fluid so the com we in the fluids we have discussed about uh, compressible and incompressible fluids so some fluids are compressible fluids we can able to compress the fluid like air gas vapor so those fluids we may use so if you use those fluids then it is called a pneumatic system if you use compressible fluids like liquid uh, fluids oil synthetic oil petroleum oil water those things are comes under uh, hydraulic actuation system so this is the lumat pneumatic linear actuation system which is used to to make a linear actuation of the cylinder here you can witness the double acting cylinder so which will make extension and retraction the symbol itself it is indicated you know we have two ports one port is for extension of the cylinder and another port is for retraction of the cylinder if you supply pressurized fluid in the blank end of the cylinder which will make extension if you supply pressurized air in the rod end of the cylinder which will make retraction to control the direction of the cylinder in the circuit we have a direction control valve so the configuration of the direction control valve we will discuss it later okay so before supply, supplying the uh, high pressure air into the system or into the circuit we must ensure that the air is properly conditioned so conditioning means uh, we are uh, taking the air uh, from the help of compressor here you can witness the compressor so the compressor is taking the air from the atmosphere so in the atmosphere there may be a possibility of foreign contaminants uh, dust items dust particles okay so we need to filter the do those dust particles so here we have a f or l unit so f stands for filter r stands for regulator and l stands for lubricator so before we we are passing into the in, into the system we must filter the air so here you can see the filter in the bottom so it is provided with the filter so the filter removes the dust particle and separates the dust from the air then after that the compressor compressed air is lubricated so what is the necessity of lubrication see if you are using a hydraulic system we are using oil as a lubricating oil as a media so that oil itself as acts as a lubricating properties so this uh, system will make up and down motion so this this will make a up and down motion so when it frequently move up and down we need to lubricate or otherwise damage worn out will takes place so here we are using a pneumatic system air is very dry no it has no viscous it is a inviscous fluid so we need to separately lubricate so the lubricator uh, sprays few drops of oil so that the air is mixed with the lubricating oil then regulator so this regulator uh, used to con regulate the pressure because in the reservoir we are getting high pressure air but the system is operated only a regulated pressure so we need to regulate the pressure so by adjusting this knob you can regulate the pressure and uh, these are all the pressure gauges used to measure the pressure of the fluid and this is the direction control valve by uh, it is used to change the direction of the fluid so here no levers are used so can you imagine what type of uh, direction control valve is there just see this symbol so here uh, some symbol is there you know arrow mark is there so this indicates this is the solenoid actuated valve so this is the symbol of solenoid when you give the electrical signal the valve can be actuated so the position of the 
call uh, can be changed uh, so as like of uh, the hydraulic system we are not going to use 4 by 3 or 4 by 2 valves so here five ports are necessary one is pressure port and two ports for actuator and another uh, two ports acts, acts as a vent port or silencer port so this is called a silencer or vent port so the pressurized fluid enters here and uh, according to the direction change it directs the fluid either extension or retraction so if you supply the fluid in the extension the air from the rod end of the cylinder is open to atmosphere it's because why why we are not using any uh, recirculating fluid okay so this is how the system is operating okay i hope you understand the concept so thanks for attending the session thank you